welcome back to my channel i know i haven't been here for so long so sorry for that the last year has been kind of crazy so i'm sure not just for me but for a lot of people but for me it was like extra crazy so i didn't have time to do any new youtube videos or i just did like some in a couple of months so sorry for that for everyone who's still following me thank you so much but now i'm back so be ready for new videos to be coming um today i'm gonna start with a hair video I haven't been taking great care of my hair the last year because it was not a priority but I want to start with doing that again. The only thing I did was uh, I got a haircut like a month ago or something um, and I got more layers. I don't know if you can see it right now because my hair is kind of crazy but um, I didn't cut uh, the length much just like the, the last bits, the split ends in the front i got a little bit more layers so as you can see it's much shorter than in the back so i just have more volume but today i'm gonna try out something new i have not done before i'm gonna try out a clay mask this is the clay mask it is a moroccan mineral clay mask and you can use this on your hair or your skin I've seen a lot of people rave about clay masks and I was like, okay, I need to try that out and see if it works for me. Most people use it instead of a shampoo to cleanse their hair. And I'm gonna try this out and see if it works for me. Um, I've heard that this should be really good for growing your hair as well and keeping it natural because it has no um, silicone, sulfates, um, colorants, scents or preservatives. So this is a more natural and more sustainable way to clean your hair if you want to try something else than shampoo. It's really easy to make. You just put a couple of tablespoons um, into a bowl with warm water. I'm gonna use like three to four spoons and because of my hair length. So if, if you have less hair, then just use one or two tablespoons and see if that works for you. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in and mix it. Um, and it's gonna be like paste. And then I'm just gonna apply it from my scalp to my ends all over. And yeah, I'll see how it works. So that's how it looks like now it's a little runny i think i put a little bit too much water in it but we're gonna run with it um i'm just gonna let this sit for a bit i'm just gonna wet my hair um obviously you can do that all in the shower um just wet your hair and put the mask on as um shampoo i'm gonna do it right now and just wet my hair here so i can show you how i do that Now I'm just gonna comb my hair out before I put the clay mask in my hair so um, it's easier to apply and there are no knots in it. So now I just finished combing my hair out. Now we have no knots. As you can see, a lot of hair. <laughs> So now I'm going to apply the paste. It's gonna be a mess, I know it already, but let's do this. I'm gonna start with the top. It feels kind of weird. I'm just gonna use one hand because otherwise I can't touch anything. I'm sure if you do it in the shower, it's way easier. I'm really curious to see the results after this. Okay, I'm using both hands anyways. I can't do it with one hand. 
Just gonna dip it in. <laughs> oh my god. I will apply the rest of it. It's not much anymore. I do that in the shower, so um, I don't like destroy everything around here. But this is how it looks like with the paste in. Looks kind of grayish. It's very important to uh, massage this into your scalp so it can get clean and healthy and just um, clean out all the buildup that you have from styling products. Um, and leave it in for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And afterwards, I'm just gonna apply, like rinse it out really thoroughly and then apply my conditioner. And that's it. One thing I've read is that this paste can leave a matte finish so if you're not a fan of that you can just mix uh, apple cider vinegar with some water and just rinse your hair with that and that will uh, get rid of the matte finish and leave it shiny so i don't have any apple cider vinegar right now with me but that's something i would uh, do too i love the apple cider vinegar rinse anyways because it really leaves like such a natural glowy shine to your hair and it's super easy and mostly you have it in your kitchen already so um you can try that out so i'll hop into the shower now and show you the results later so i'm back from the shower and it was really easy to wash out so it doesn't stick to your hair or anything but um i would do it really carefully um so you're sure that everything is out and also, um, it is a little bit of a mess in your bathroom <laughs> because you've got all of the, the paste on the walls and stuff. So you just have to rinse it off afterwards. So um, it's easy to rinse off, so don't be scared or anything. But that's something you have to consider if you're in a rush or something. I don't think that this paste is, um, yeah, this is a good idea. But if you're a curly girl and you wash your hair, you anyway plan a lot of time into it because you know it will take time so for us curly girls it doesn't matter i think but if you're a girl that has like more wavy or straight hair and you're used to um having a fast routine then this is more like takes more time so consider that otherwise it leaves a little bit of a matte finish that's something i i realized um after showering and it feels a little bit like it has no slip or anything it's kind of dry in a way like earthy <laughs> obviously it's earthy but um i don't know how to describe it it feels yeah a little bit a little matte in a way so that's why it's um, a good idea to use the apple cider vinegar rinse afterwards but i just use my conditioner afterwards and uh, my leave-in conditioner and now it is just shining and i don't see any matte finish so that's something that i really love so if you use a leave-in conditioner this matte finish will just disappear in my opinion so yeah i'm really happy i'm just gonna let it dry now and show you the results in the end so i'm back now um my hair is not 100 percent dry yet but it takes forever for it to air dry so um i can just show it to you like this right now anyways i think the clay mask worked really well as a shampoo it cleansed my hair really nicely um i'm really happy with it but it's just a little bit yeah i'm not used to it i think i have to try it out a couple of times to get used to the um, texture of it um, but otherwise I think it's a great alternative um, and I think I will just switch it up sometimes and use it like every two to three weeks in my hair as a shampoo um, because it's really um, good for your hair and it will help with hair growth and it will keep it healthy I will just use it as a extra treatment for my hair to keep it healthy but it's not something that I will just use every week because um, in my opinion it takes too much time um, but I like the results so I'm really happy with it I would recommend you to try it out yourself and see if you like it so that's my hair as you can see fully I'll show you from the back as well it looks really nice and shiny for anyone looking for new hair masks 
um, or a shampoo alternative, I think this is a really good idea. If you're interested in knowing my fall curly hair routine, then just comment down below and like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more curly hair videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, it's both Sarah as well. Um, for more tips, for more curly hair stuff, um, routine, fashion, I do a lot of over there, so just follow me if you're interested. Have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video.